Today's a really exciting day because I just moved into a new apartment. Need to decorate it. I have a couple of DIY projects that I want to do. Put some pillowcases on the couch, decorate some shelves. This is the apartment so far. This is in San Diego. Cute little console table. I'm gonna DIY this cabinet today. Here's the kitchen. It's way nicer compared to the kitchen we had in New York City. And this apartment actually costs the same amount as our New York City apartment because New York City is the most expensive city in the world pretty much. This one's like so much nicer. <laughs> Candle smells so good. I haven't lit it yet. It smells like a Christmas tree. These are from Marshalls. They're so cute. I needed something really thin for right there. So I feel like they fit perfectly. Two people could not fit in our New York kitchen. And that's how small it was. But that's the price you pay for a living in Manhattan. And on this side of the living room, we have a little dining area. Dom helped me hang the curtains and this floating shelf, which I want to decorate today. Curtains honestly make such a difference. They just make the room feel more put together. Comforting and welcoming and cozy compared to just the apartment blinds, which we still have underneath. So the first thing I want to do, this couch just feels like way too bland. Just all blends in too much. I want to add a little more dimension, you know? I feel like the easiest way to update this is through the pillowcases. Got several pillowcases. I am so indecisive. Couldn't decide online what ones I wanted. So I was like, let me just buy all of these and then I'll return the ones I don't like. I want to add some more brown. I feel like this one will help add a little more dimension, but yet still keep neutrals. And I love the color brown. This dark brown one, I kind of have a feeling it's going to be too dark. I thought the pattern was cute. I got this stripe one, and then I got this stripe. I think that the dark brown one's definitely too dark, but I actually really like this one. I actually really like the brown a lot. So now I just have to decide between which stripe pillows. I mean, they're both very similar. This white one I originally had doesn't look bad. I actually like that it's like a white, but I just don't want the fringe right now. I already have some boho accents of things. Simplicity right now of these ones. There's a little more contrast between the couch and this pillow. Whereas this one, I feel like it almost blends in too much. So I'm gonna save these pillows for the bedroom because I feel like they'll look cute on the bed. 18 by 18 inch pillowcases for these because these are 20 by 20 pillowcases. It'll help make it a little more like fluffy having it like squished in because sometimes if you put like a 20 inch pillowcase inside a 20 inch insert it kind of looks flat Yay! Okay, I feel like they look really cute. I'm happy with my decision. So I want to do a DIY artwork to go above the couch. That'll probably be in another video. So I feel like it's looking cute. Coffee table. I'm obsessed with this. It's a lava stone coffee table. It's from West Elm. Swap out this black candle for this candle just because I feel like it's the vibe a little more. For this console table area, put this little basket there with blankets. I'm just really over this line drawing. It's cute, but I feel like it's just not my vibe right now. So I went to Staples and I got this new print. I wanted a landscape thing so I found this on Etsy. They didn't have the correct paper size so I had to get it on a bigger sheet of paper so I'm gonna cut it. And I just feel like it feels happy when you look at it. This is also from Etsy. This I'm gonna put in the bathroom but I liked it because it was kind of like vintage -y. The bathroom decor will be another video. obsessed with this. It looks so much cuter than the hands one. I want to walk down that path and like explore peaceful vibe. This pot, if you're wondering, this is from Amazon, believe it or not. I love how it's like the vintage kind of feel. I like the colors of this lamp. I feel like I want to change it out eventually for something a little more just simple, but for now it's fine. It adds some texture. On to the shelf and the table. Look how cute this little scrunchie is. This is from Anthropology. Anthropology is like my favorite store and half the time I don't even buy anything. Thing. I just love going there and looking because they have such cute decor and clothes. This brown vase is from Amazon. I feel like it'll look cute on the table. This is some decor that I pulled out that I want to play around with. Obsessed with this ceramic little vase. I have this little frame and I printed out a little artwork. I'm gonna cut this and then put it in the frame. Okay, I actually 
like this one better. I feel like this one felt too dense and like heavy. This one's like a more muted green and it feels lighter. I feel like this is looking cute now. Let me know what you guys think if you guys like this layout. You could also stain this wood a little darker. It might make everything tie in together as well. If I should stain it, what color? And then I have this pot. I can either put it on the balcony right there or I could put it here, which might look cute. All right, I feel like that looks nice there. Almost three o'clock and I'm starving. Eat lunch really quick and then I'm gonna do the last DIY thing. Don made me a turkey sandwich before he had to leave and some chips. I'm gonna watch a quick YouTube video and eat my lunch. It's already starting to get dark and it's literally like three something. I feel so grateful and happy to have this new view. It's honestly so fun just like being able to look out and like see the world now because before we also didn't have a view. Okay, so onto this cabinet. Crucial because it's where I keep handbags and shoes at the moment because the closet is full of all my clothes. So I have like the little handbags there. It's like kind of organized. I need to like fix it a little, but you get the gist. With the exception of sneakers, which are actually in my closet in the bedroom. During the move, something must've been leaning up against it and it made those like big holes. I think it was like chair legs. So I bought these wall patch things and it's like this mesh and you put it over the hole. And then I put like putty over it and then I sanded it down. And I'm gonna do a DIY wallpaper on the cabinet. I'm gonna put them like just in this rectangle parts and then leave the trim white. But I have two wallpapers. Kind of has like a linen-y texture, which I like. I wanted something that had some sort of texture. I also have this one, which is like a khaki color. But the thing is, this one looks too close to the wall color. I feel like it's just gonna blend in too much go with the lighter one. I'm really nervous because I did my best to sand it but because it has that like mesh thing under it they're not completely flat so my biggest fear is that it's gonna look really weird under the wallpaper but hopefully because it's textured the wallpaper it won't show as badly so fingers crossed. And then I got these pretty cool knobs off of Amazon that I want to put on it as well. These were cute. I'm just not about them right now. I feel like these are just more like sleek and modern. surprisingly it worked kind of well. This thing is literally key. This was like for spackle to like spackle the hole, but I used it to like kind of smooth it out and make sure no holes are in there and it actually kind of worked. So now I'm gonna take this X-Acto knife and like cut off this access part. Okay, I'm gonna try this one and hopefully see if it covers it up. It actually covered up that white patch. So I'm really excited about that. You can see a slight bump. No one's gonna even notice that unless they really get up close to it. So I'm finally done. This took me hours, but I think it looks really good. I did both of the sides too, in case I ever wanna change the positioning of it. So that side's done too. Here is all done. Oh my god, I love it. I feel like the handles honestly make such a difference. Ooh, I love that it adds that bit of texture too with the linen-y texture and wallpaper. And this is literally an Ikea cabinet. Just really happy with how this turned out. So it makes me really excited. And look at all this mess. So the very last thing I want to do today is soap dispensers. And I just think they look really ugly. I found these on Amazon again, of course. They're these amber glass soap dispenser jars. I feel like they look really nice and I'm gonna put them on the sink and I'm gonna put the hand soap and the dish soap in them. Came with this little tray and then also came with these labels. I'm gonna put some bubble wrap under it so it doesn't like move around. That is definitely a good hack. If you ever wanna upgrade your Amazon furniture or Ikea furniture or like anything that's like inexpensive, one of the easiest ways to update it is by changing out the hardware because you can buy really cute hardware on Amazon and like a lot of different places for cheap and it instantly can go from looking like an Ikea furniture to looking like more of a high-end furniture. Here's the first label. I have a DIY wall art that I want to do. For above the couch, it's going to be a plaster art, but that'll be in another video, so stay tuned for that. Having a design background and going to fashion school and everything, I love being creative. Looks cute. Okay, now let's go put the soap in and set them up. Looks 
so much nicer than this ugly plastic thing. It's gonna be better for the environment because I can just keep buying these like big jugs of soap and they even have bigger ones than this so that I don't use as much plastic. It's 8.20 right now and I started filming this video at like 12. So it's been a good at least eight hours. So tired. I have more at the apartment to decorate. I want to do a vanity decor video, which is going to be really fun. And I can show you all my makeup and how I organize everything. There's a lot more fun videos to come. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next 